Hello everybody. This is Christy from Country Living with the Batemans. Um, on this video, it is my bread inspired by Needy video. Um, I've got some, a lady that's wanting two dozen of um, the rolls I make, which is uh, Heather's uh, soft butter dinner rolls. Um, and then I've got another one uh, a dozen of uh, hoagies, which I'm going to use the Italian sub that Heather has um, shared on her the needy homesteader uh, uh, channel. So this video is um, dedicated and in, in, uh, inspired by needy because um, I fell in love with this making the soft rolls and um, I make them for all the holidays or special occasions or just you know dinner you know you know a good dinner every once in a while and um it's one of my family's favorites and this lady that i used to work with um i gave her took her some and she absolutely loves them um she wraps them up you know individually sticks them in her freezer and then she'll have them for whenever she wants them so, um, right now, Heather is needing all the support that she can, and with, um, her channel, her not being able to, um, need bread or can or any of that right now, I'm going through rehab, and, um, so, you know, I, yeah, I'm, I'm happy and excited to um, be able to share what I've learned from watching all of the Needy Homesteaders um, videos. Um, she's been, been such an inspiration with me throughout my whole entire journey, and I never made bread in my you know my entire life, and <laughs> um, got addicted to watching her watching her bread videos and like I had mentioned in another video my husband bought me a mixer and then I was burning it up so we got another mixer so I'm gonna bring you along today and um, show you how I make this and yeah let's let's get together and make some bread okay here we go the mixer We're going to, I'm going to double this recipe because she's wanting, um, a two dozen. So, this recipe will be doubled. So, I'm using three cups of warm water. And I'll be using four teaspoons of, oops, instant yeast. And then six tablespoons of sugar. six tablespoons of sugar I'm gonna give that a little bit of a stir there so next we'll have six cups of bread flour we'll grab a knife
about five and a half. <clears throat> and then also a fourth of a cup of powder um, or the um, potato flakes. I'm going to use two of these. It'll be two fourths. And it also calls for a fourth of the powdered milk. And I'm going to use two of them because we're doubling the recipe. And four tablespoons of butter with some doubling. So it's eight tablespoons of butter. And melted. You don't want it hot. And then the recipe calls for one egg. We're putting the two eggs. And then one and a fourth tablespoons, or teaspoons, sorry, not tablespoons, teaspoons of sea salt. Put it on this. And don't forget, I'm also doubling this recipe. Okay. And I'll get the hook on there. And we'll get this mixing up. Okay, so it's done kneading. I'm going to pull this out of the bowl here. Get it down on my counter here. It's clean. Okay. Set my bowl aside. I'm going to need this if I need to add more flour to it I can or I can put oil on my um, countertop I just want to work it in just a little bit here And kind of work it up. This is a this is a big dough ball. Like I said, this is for a double recipe for these rolls. So yeah, just kind of squeezing that and smooth. And then bring my bowl back over here. Get you guys up a little bit. So you can see what I'm doing here. Got my bowl. I'm going to put some oil in there. About a tablespoon. I might need to put a little bit more. Put my my dough in there just turn it I add a little more since this is bigger and then flip it over you just don't want your dough ball to dry out so that's in there and then I'll cover this up with a flour sack towel and then I'll let this rise for one hour and then after that one hour, 
Okay, so it's been an hour. I'm going to pull this dough out. It's doubled in size. Looks good. I'm going to push this down. Um, just pull this out. And I'm going to just cut this in half. This side back in here. I know we'll work with this side. So I want Get you a better view of it. I squeeze it and I tuck my hand. I roll it into a ball. And you do that with every single one of these. and you roll into a ball. Okay, so all my rolls are done. Um, they're, I'm gonna let these rise for the second rise for one hour. And then after that hour is over, then we will put them in the oven and then I'll bring you back for that. Okay, we'll be back. This is our uh, pulled pork. Oh, it looks so yummy. Sorry, I'm steaming you guys up. So. Yeah, that looks really, really good. This is pork loin that I had canned up, and I canned it up raw pack and just let them cook in its come in cooking its own juices. And then I do all kinds of stuff with this. We have a bunch left over: a pineapple barbecue, pork loin pizza. But yeah, like I said, that barbecue sauce is also feathers. So.